हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर प्रॉब्लम इन द सीरीज ऑफ कोडिंग इट्स कॉल्ड स्क्वायर्स ऑफ अ सॉर्टेड अरे सो वी आर गिवन एन इंटीजर अरे नम्स व्हिच इज सॉर्टेड इन अ नॉन डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर वी हैव टू रिटर्न द अरे ऑफ द स्क्वायर्स ऑफ ईच नंबर सॉर्टेड इन अ नॉन डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर सो लेट्स कंसीडर द एग्जांपल्स वी आर गिवन दिस नम्स अरे एंड वी हैव टू ऑब्टेन दिस आउटपुट दैट इज वी आर जस्ट सिंपली स्क्वायरिंग ऑल द एलिमेंट्स फर्स्ट सो आफ्टर स्क्वायरिंग ऑल द एलिमेंट्स द अरे बिकम्स दिस सो माइनस फोर स्क्वायर इज सिक्सटीन माइनस वन स्क्वायर इज वन जीरो स्क्वायर इज जीरो थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन टेन स्क्वायर इज हंड्रेड सो दिस इज द अरे बट नाउ वी हैव टू रिटर्न इट इन अ सॉर्टेड मैनर सो आफ्टर सॉर्टिंग इट बिकम्स दिस सो जीरो इज अरेंज फर्स्ट एंड देन वन नाइन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड इन अ असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू रिटर्न सो वी कैन डू अ वेरी सिंपल ब्रूट फोर सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस सो द सिंपलेस्ट ब्रूट फोर सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस विल बी we just iterate over the array once and we convert all the elements to their squares so let's do that and we just convert all the elements to the squares so nums of i will just become nums of i into nums of i that is we are converting the elements to the square and then we can just sort this array so sort from nums dot begin to nums dot end so that we can do and uh, we can return this so we can return nums so basically this should uh, work but it's a brute force solution so there is some compile error okay i forgotten to put brackets here so i was doing that in a little bit of hurry so yeah so we can see that the expected answer is matching with the answer we'll even submit and see if the solution is working so see a uh, very few test cases may have been given which are going to be very small so it may have been working but what is the problem with this is it's a brute force solution we have put no logic in this and it's a very simple brute force solution and the sorting algorithm will have time complexity of o of n log n so this is really not uh, feasible and if we have very large number of test cases o of n log n the time complexity is going to be huge so we'll need to try to make it to o of n so let's see how we can do that so let me take an example array let me just write some random elements minus 5 minus 3 0 1 6 8 so i'm just writing some random elements consider these are the elements of my array now this is my input array and i have to convert it to output array so i'm going to do a two pointer approach so i'm going to declare a left pointer and a right pointer so i'll declare it with different different colors so i'll write l for short for the left and i'm going to write r for short for right okay so now what i'm going to do i have to return my output so my output should have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 elements but it should have squares of these elements that in the sorted order so i'll just compare my left element with my right element now in this case i'm going to compare them without considering their sign i'm just going to compare the absolute value of them so i can see that 9 is greater than 8 so see i have to return them in a sorted order that to ascending so the element that's going to occupy the last position is going to be the largest right so see this array is sorted the input array is sorted okay so the largest element that can be found it can be found either in the leftmost extreme or in the rightmost extreme so i'll just compare these elements to obtain the largest element so 9 is greater than 8 in terms of absolute value so i'll just square this minus 9 square and it will be 81 and i can just insert that 81 here so i can drop this here and i can move to my next element so now my left changes and my left moves to the next element so i can do that by increasing left now i compare my left and right elements again so in terms of absolute value whenever we are comparing we have to remember to compare their absolute values So now five or eight. So eight is greater. That means eight square will be greater than five. So I can insert eight square here. That will be sixty four. And I can move forward. I will shift my right pointer. I will decrease it by one. I will again uh, compare my left and right elements. So I can see that uh, on comparing five and six, six is greater. So six square, which is thirty six, should come here. And because this element has moved. we will have to move the right pointer also okay now we'll again compare minus 5 and 1 we'll just compare the absolute values so we are going to compare 5 and 1 so 5 square is 25 25 is of course greater than 1 so we will just put it here 
and now we will move forward so our left will increase by 1 we'll again compare the left and right elements in terms of absolute value 3 is greater than 1 so 3 square is 9 that occupies a position here and we will move the left pointer again so now comparing 0 and 1 so we know that 1 is greater than 0 so 1 square will come here 1 and um, the right pointer will decrement and now we just have the last element so we have to just insert 0 square which is 0 so basically this is our output array that we are looking for and let's just code this so I'll remove the brute force solution that we had tried out so for doing this we have to just declare left and right pointers so that's what I'll do so initially my left will be the leftmost element which will be 0 and my right element will be just nums dot size minus 1 and I'll also have to declare a vector I'll call it output that I will have to return back so the final output that we are going to return back that is this the sorted vector that I'm calling it as output and I'll give it size nums dot size because it's going to have the same number of elements that were there initially so I'll give it size same as the size of the vector that we are receiving and I'll just give all the elements to be anything so I'll give all the elements to be zero for now so let's move forward for int i equal to nums dot size minus one i greater than equal to zero i minus minus so we start inserting elements from the backwards right that's why i am giving it in this way so moving forward so since we are inserting the elements from the backwards so output of i that is the last element will get inserted first so we'll have to compare right so for comparing we will have to check the absolute value of left and the right elements so basically right elements are anyway going to be positive we just check the absolute value of the left element that is also enough so absolute value of left if it is greater than right that means output of i should be so i'll have to give nums of left here so if absolute value of nums of left is greater than nums of right then output of i should be nums of left into nums of left that is the square of the element okay and i will also have to decrement so if it had been right element i would have to decrement the right element but here it's a left element so i have to increment the left element now i move forward else if this is not true that means the right element is greater than the left element then in that case output of i will just be nums of right into nums of right and then i can decrement the right okay so this should be it and we can just return our output so this should be right let's try to see if it is right so let's submit and see if it is right so yes this solution is accepted and it's a o of n solution so this is much better